All right, sports fans, how's everybody out there doing? William Martin coming at you one more time here on YouTube with another edition of the 300 Pounds of Sports Knowledge Podcast. Now, today the Kansas City Chiefs moved their record to 12-1 and with a hard-fought 33-27 victory over the Miami Dolphins. The Chiefs were able to win in spite of quarterback Patrick Mahomes throwing three interceptions. Now, Kansas City was able to overcome an early 10-0 deficit in this contest and at one point they rattled off 30 consecutive points the Dolphins did rally but the defending Super Bowl champions were able to hold them off now there is a possibility that both of these clubs could meet in the postseason I mean Kansas City once again wrapped up the AFC West while the Dolphins and eight and five are right in contention for a wild card berth in the conference now Make no mistake about it. We've seen a, we've seen some close calls for Kansas City this season, but you have to realize and you have to expect they are the litmus test for each team that they face this season. And as the defending champs, you know, basically everybody wants to line you up because they want to be the ones to say, hey, they knocked you off. But it's easier said than done. You look at the play calling of Chiefs head coach Andy Reid. You look at how he goes out there and has his team prepared to compete on a Sunday and Sunday out basis. And of course, the play of Patrick Mahomes. And even though Mahomes was not great today, he was great when he had to be. Uh, you look at the situation where late in the contest, where Miami cut the lead to 30 to 24, Mahomes was able to drive them down the field. He then forced the Dolphins to burn their timeouts and they got a key field goal to kind of distance themselves and get that two point or two possession lead back. And, you know, as long as you have Mahomes and you give him the opportunity to get the ball to the likes of Tyreek Hill, Nicole Hardman and Travis Kelsey at the skill possessions, you know, the Chiefs are going to be tough, be a tough out, even if you have a lead on them. Uh, you know, they're never out of a game. We saw the Houston Texans last season in the playoffs build a 24 to nothing lead on Kansas City. And then Kansas City came back and beat the brakes off of them. And, you know, that scenario has still played out this season. And defensively for the Chiefs, they still have playmakers. You look, look at how Chris Jones is getting off the ball on that defensive line. You know, you still have Tyron Matthew back in that secondary. And this defense knows that, you know, they can go out there and make plays. And they know that they're going to give up some points. But the bottom line, line is you just got to make a couple of big plays and more importantly you get those turnovers or you get those key stops you're going to get the ball back to Patrick Mahomes and if you give the ball back to Patrick Mahomes he's going to go out there and score points so Kansas City's looking at 12 and 1 right now their only competition for the top spot in the AFC is the Pittsburgh Steelers of course the Steelers uh, play tonight on the road versus the Buffalo Bills, which will not be an easy game. So, you know, Kansas City, at the very worst, they're going to finish with the second best record in the AFC. Do you want to rest or do you, and get that by, or do you want to keep going? We'll have to wait and see because we know, of course, this season only the top spot in each respective conference gets that by due to the expanded postseason. But regardless if Kansas City is going to be the two slot, be in the two slot, or be the number one seed overall, they are still going to be a very tough out come January uh, we know that you know typically you want to be able to run the football in the cold weather in January but the way that Ms. Holmes can sling it around the field even in the cold weather Kansas City is never going to be out of a game so it's all about you know getting to the postseason getting everybody healthy staying consistent and seeing who you face because you know this is the time of the year where you want to be playing your best football Kansas City has been doing that for the most part all season long they've taken everybody's best punch they lost to the Raiders earlier this season they came back and avenged that loss we've seen them in some close games uh, throughout this season today was another close one but make no mistake about it these Chiefs they returned to the scene of the crime today where they won their Super Bowl championship back in February and they are looking to get back to Florida this time northern Florida or pardon me western Florida in Tampa Bay and repeat as Super Bowl champions so like I said they took the best shot of the Dolphins today they're going to finish out the uh, regular season on a high note and they want to keep that momentum going in the January and possibly even February in the Super Bowl so folks that is going to wrap it up and as always I want to take this time out to thank you for tuning into the 300 pounds of sports knowledge podcast 
I want to thank all of the subscribers out there. And if you have not already, please feel free to subscribe to this channel. Now, if you're on Twitter, please feel free to follow me at 300 Pounds of Sports. And like I always say, if you follow me, it'll be my pleasure to follow you right back. There's also the Sports Discussion Group on Facebook at the Sports Depot 365. You can check it out. Drop a line and be a part of one of the better sports debating sites going on social media. So once again, fine folks. My name is William Martin. Take care and have yourselves a wonderful day.